All right, guys and girls, tonight I'm going to tell you how I make the bank poles that I fish with. I'm going to uh, tell you where you can get the poles, uh, hooks, how to rig them up, and everything. And I hope this video helps y'all out. I hope it helps you fill your freezer up with the catfish. Uh, these poles are awesome. So stay tuned. Check them out. Alright guys, the hooks that I use uh, are Gamma Got Safe. Uh, they're about the sharpest hook I can find. They're octopus hooks. And I love them. Can't beat them. Not at all. Uh, most of the time you want to find a hook with a big eye so you can get the trot line in it. Um, but I love these hooks. You can get that line through there. You can't beat them. But most of the time on all my poles, I will use the 10 out hook. Talking about sharp. Dudes are sharp. Um, you're going to need some reflective tape. You can get this all off of Amazon every bit of this except the poles uh, you're gonna need some uh, sinkers most time I use a two ounce or a three ounce sometimes if the, the river is really swift that I'm fishing in I'll go all the way up to eight ounce you're gonna need some number 36 tarred line you can get this stuff at walmart or amazon either one um i don't have them up here but uh you can use the three out barrel swivels also the big bigger barrel swivel swivel the better you are off you know uh, you don't want a 40 or 50 pound catfish breaking your line so and then also, these poles. I got two of them sitting here. And what these poles are, they're made out of fiberglass. And all they are is uh, tree stakes. They're a tree stake pole. And uh, I'll tell you where to get those at the end of the video. On these weights here, what you want to do is you want to take a little drill bit and you want to drill those out. Now you may have to put it in a vise or something like that, but most times the holes aren't big enough for the line to go through. It's pretty tough getting that line through there sometimes. But I'll show you one that I've got, got rigged up here. Alright guys, these, these poles you can get them in six foot, eight foot, ten foot. Uh, the ones I have are are eight foot. And uh, what I do is I'll take reflective tape and I'll come down about I don't know about eight inches and I'll go around two or three times and then I'll come on down about I don't know about four foot and I'll put more. Um, and these poles stakes whatever you want to call them they have tapered ends on them so all you have to do is push them in and I, I push them in the bank I, I usually push them in around two foot and then that's it these dudes are not gonna break if they do you uh, you probably got something different than a catfish but um I'll show you how I've got this one. I can get it untangled. Alright, so I take black tape and I come down a little ways and I'll go around it a bunch of times. So that's where I'm going to hook my hook. But uh, 
I forgot to mention, if you want to do it like this, you can do it like this. But you can get some PEX, PEX tubing and put it at the very end of them. You'll want to drill you a hole and put PEX tubing on them. And that right there, I've got a hog ring on there that I went through there. Clamped that hog ring in there and now put me a swivel on there. Now I use about 10 foot of line. On all of them, 10 foot is plenty. But then I'll come down and I'll put my, put my weight in there. And then I'll put me another swivel. And then I'll leave about, about a foot of line. That way that lets, that lets the brim or whatever, if you're using live bait, it lets him swim around and do what he's going to do. But uh, that works out pretty good. Pretty good. But then after you roll them up, all you got to do is roll them up. Don't take too long, but just roll them dudes up. Now this is one way to do it with the, the sinker, the round sinker, the swivel, and then the hook. And then I'm gonna show you a different way on this other pole. See, I just hooked that in the, in the black tape, just like that right there. Go in the boat, not get tangled up. Same. Same scenario here, except what I done, all I done was took and I drilled a hole through here, pulled my line up, tied about seven or eight knots in it, 10 foot line on the pole, and then I just took some weights and tied them on there. And I come down by the foot and there's my hook. That one's kind of bent. Then, all you gotta do is roll them up. Stick it in that black tape, and there you go. All my poles have uh, duct tape on them. Uh, in the state of Tennessee, you're supposed to put your name and your TWRA number on there. Uh, that way a game warden can tell who's it is and everything. But these poles, man, they don't bend. I mean, they're good. I got a piece of duct tape or black tape on the very end of this one. That lets me know about two foot in the bank and I can stop. These dudes are nice. Very nice. Um, you can find these, uh, you'll have to Google it. Uh, I think I got these. Now you'll have to buy them in bulk. And I bought mine, I don't know, about two years ago. I had to buy it 20 at a time. So you'll have to buy them in bulk and they're kind of expensive. I can't remember what I paid for them, but uh, you can get them at Farm Tech. And there's also another place I leave a, I'll leave the link to it in the description. Um, you can also get them, I don't know if you can, I don't know another place you can get them, but uh, if you wanna see how these dudes work, I'm gonna leave the description of the video that I made, uh, how to set them and, and how good they hold in, in the bank. And uh, I hope this, uh, this little video helps you out. Uh, if you got any questions, comment below. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, hit that notification bell so the next time I do a video, you will be notified. Appreciate y'all watching. Have a good day.